Akhtari Bai Faizabadi, also known as Begum Akhtar Mustri Bai, the 7th of October 1914 to the 30th of October 1974, was a well-known Indian singer of ghazal, dadra, and thumri genres of Hindustani classical music. She received the Sangeet Natak Akademi Award for Vocal Music and was awarded Padma Shri and later Padma Bhushan posthumously by Govt of India. She was given the title of Malika e Ghazal, Queen of Ghazals. Early life Her father, Ashgar Hussain, was a young lawyer who fell in love with her mother Mushtari and made her his second wife. He subsequently disowned her and his twin daughters Zora and Bibi actor. <laughs> Career Actor was barely seven when she was captivated by the music of Chandra Bai, an artist attached to a touring theater group. However at her uncle's insistence she was sent to train under Ostad Imdad Khan, the great Sarangi exponent from Patna, and later under Atta Muhammad Khan of Patiala. Later, she traveled to Calcutta with her mother and learnt music from classical stalwarts like Muhammad Khan, Abdul Wahid Khan of Lahore, and finally she became the disciple of Ostad Jande Khan. Her first public performance was at the age of 15. The famous poet Sarojini Naidu appreciated her singing during a concert which was organized in the aid of victims of the 1934 Nepal Bihar earthquake. This encouraged her to continue singing ghazals with more enthusiasm. She cut her first disc for the Megaphone Record Company, at that time. A number of gramophone records were released carrying her ghazals, dadras, thumris, etc. She was amongst the early female singers to give public concert, and break away from singing in mehfils or private gatherings, and in time came to be known as Malika e Ghazal, Queen of Ghazal. Begum actor's good looks and sensitive voice made her an ideal candidate for a film career in her early years. When she heard great musicians like Gar Yan and Malik Jan, however, she decided to forsake the glamour of the film world for a career in Indian classical music. Her supreme artistry in light classical music had its moorings in the tradition of pure classicism. She chose her repertoire in primarily classical modes, a variety of rags, ranging from simple to complex. After the advent of Taki era in India, Begum actor acted in a few Hindi movies in the 1930s. East India Film Company of Calcutta approached her to act in King for a Day, alias Ek Din Ka Badshah and Nal Damayanti in 1933. Like others of that era, she sang her songs herself in all her films. She continued acting in the following years. Subsequently, Begum actor moved back to Lucknow where she was approached by the famous producer-director Mehboob Khan, to act in Roti which was released in 1942 and whose music was composed by the maestro Anil Biswas. Roti contained six of her ghazals but unfortunately due to some trouble with the producer, Mehboob Khan subsequently deleted three or four ghazals from the film. All the ghazals are available on megaphone gramophone records. Begum actor, meanwhile, left Bombay and returned to Lucknow. In 1945, Akhtari Bai married a Lucknow-based barrister, Ishtiak Ahmed Abbasi, and became known as Begum actor. However, after marriage, due to her husband's restrictions, she could not sing for almost five years and subsequently, fell ill. That is when her return to music was prescribed as a befitting remedy, and in 1949 she returned to the recording studios. She sang three ghazals and a dadra at Lucknow All India radio station. She wept afterwards and returned to singing in concerts, which she continued to do unto death. She sang publicly in Lucknow, in a women's only concert in aid of the war, which was held in 1962. Her voice matured with time, acquiring richness and depth. She sang ghazals and other light classical pieces, in her inimitable style. She has nearly 400 songs to her credit. She was a regular performer on All India Radio. She usually composed her own ghazals and most of her compositions were RAAG based. She sang the timeless Bengali classical song, Jakona Koresh Aari, Hochana Koresh Ari. On October 7, 2017, Google dedicated a doodle commemorating the 103rd birthday of Begum Akhtar. Death 
During her last concert in Balaramapuram near Tiruvananthapuram, she raised the pitch of her voice as she felt that her singing had not been as good as she had wanted it to be and felt unwell. The stress she put herself under resulted in her falling ill and she was rushed to the hospital. She died on 30 October 1974 in the arms of Nilam Gamadia, her friend, who invited her to Ahmedabad, which became her final performance. Her tomb was a mango orchard within her home, Pasanda Bagh, in Thakurganj area, of Lucknow. She was buried alongside her mother, Mushtari Sahiba. However, over the years, much of the garden has been lost to the growing city, and the tomb has fallen into disrepair. The marble graves enclosed in a red brick enclosure, were restored in 2012, along with their Pietra Dura style marble inlay. Attempts are on to convert her home built in 1936 in China Bazaar, Lucknow into a museum. Her disciples include Shanti Hiranand, who later received Padma Shri and wrote, a biography Begum Actor, The Story of Miami 2005. Art critic S. Kalidas directed a documentary on her titled High Akhtari. Discography List See Begum Actor Songs for comprehensive list Hindi films Naseeb Ka Chakar Kalig hai jab caaya maya ne. Rodi, Anna Sahab Mainkar. Wo hans rehi hain a kiye ja. Ulaj gay nyan wa chut nahin. Char dino ki jawani matwale. I prem teri balahari ho. Fear Fasil Bihar Aayi Hai Ren Laga Hai Dil Miandera Pana Dai, Gyan Dutt. Haman Yad Teri Satane Laji Main Raja Ko Apni Rija K Rahungi Dana Pani, Mohan Jr. Ishq Mujay Aur Kuch to Yad Nahi Isan Haman Dil Mine Basa below. Topic Filmography. Topic Awards and Recognition. 1968 Padma Shri. 1972 Sangeet Natak Akademi Award. 1975, Padma Bhushan posthumously. Topic Bibliography in Memory of Begum Actor, by Shahid Ali Aga. U.S. Interculture Associates, 1979. Great Masters of Hindustani Music, by Sushila Misra. Published by Hem Publishers, 1981. Chapter 26. Begum Actor, The Queen of Ghazal, by Sutapa Mukherjee. Rupa and Co. 2005, ISBN 81-7167-985-4. Begum Actor, The Story of Miami, by Shanti Hiranan. Published by Viva Books, 2005, ISBN 81-309-0172-2. A Mahabit, Reminiscing Begum Actor, by Jyoti Sabarwal and Rita Ganguly, 2008, ISBN 978-81-904559-3-0. Begum Actor, Love's Own Voice, by S. Kalidas. 2009, ISBN 978 8174365958.